What up, everybody? Instructor Beat, back with multiplication. And today we're exploring the standard algorithm of multiplication. So, first of all, what is the standard algorithm? Um, it's a set of steps used to multiply two factors together, right? Um, so, hopefully, you've checked out our partial products and open array um, multiplication videos. If not, uh, check those out as well. Um, but today we're focused on the standard algorithm, which is the way most of the old people in America were taught how to multiply. Um, and so our steps, okay, as always, please pause the video, write these down. You want to line up the digits, okay, with the ones place, and then you're always going to multiply from right to left. When you have multiplied the ones place by all the digits on top, then we, we do what I like to say cross out, add your zero, and erase. And those are the steps you do every single time in the order that you do them in. And then if you have a digit in the tens place, um, so what I've, if you crossed out, you would, um, go ahead and do that digit going again from right to left on top. And again, I'll show you what that means. And then at the end, you're going to add all the products up, okay, or add the two products that you have up. So here's an example. I have the steps up there, okay. So uh, 345 times 6, so 345 times 6, okay, so we line it up with the ones place. I multiply all the digits on top in the top factor by my digit in the ones place. So 6 times 5 is 30. Carry my 3 and circle it. I like to circle it so I don't forget to add it. Now, you multiply and then you add what's up top. Okay, You don't add these together and then multiply 6 times 7. So you can do 6 times 4, which is 24, and then add what you carried. So 24 plus 3 is 27. That's a bad 7. There you go. And then, because I have 27, I'm going to circle that, okay? And if you get confused by that, what I like to do is you're always going to leave the bottom, or sorry, leave the, the first digit and send the second digit. Because sometimes we get confused about, okay, do I carry the 2 or the 7? You leave the 1's place, carry the 10's place above, okay? So that's just kind of to show you. And then we have, again, we multiply, then add. So 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20, okay? And I don't have any more digits to multiply by, so I don't have to even do any of the rest of these steps, right? These steps are no longer available to me. My answer is done. My product is 2,070. But if we look at another one, okay, so 345 times 26, okay? Again, my ones place is lined up. So now I'm going to multiply all the digits on top digits on top by the digits in the ones place. So 6 times 5 is 30. Carry my 3 and circle it. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 is 27. Carry my 2 and circle it. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. Okay. And before, that's where we stopped. But now I have a digit in my tens place. Okay, so now I need to cross out, add my zero, and erase. So I'm going to cross out my six because I am done with it. I'm going to add my zero down here. Okay, and I'm going to erase everything up top that I multiplied by, which is part of the reason it is good to use a pencil in math and not a pen. So now I'm going to multiply this 2 by all the digits on top. But the reason I added this 0 right here is because this is not really a 2, right? It's a 20 because it's a 2 in the tens place. So now I'm, that's why I add my 0, okay? So now I'm done with that. Now I just multiply it going from right to left. So 2 times 5 is 10. I carry my 1 and circle it. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. I add these together. And your answer should be 8,970. Okay? And so that's how you multiply using the standard algorithm. It's pretty easy. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try to multiply this uh, equation. And then you we will go over it together. So I'm going to put 45 on top. Okay? Um, which will make it look a little different. So matter of fact, I'll probably do both of them. Because commutative property means it doesn't matter which digit goes on top. Um... I recommend putting the one with the less digits on the bottom, but because these both have two, it doesn't matter. So I'll solve both of them just in case you did it either way. So six times five is 30. I carry my three and circle it. Six times four is 24 plus three is 27. I multiplied all the digits on top by the digits in my ones place. So now it's time to cross out, 
add my 0 and erase. So now I'm multiplying by my 2 right here, which is really 20, which is why I added my 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1, circle it. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. I add these together, and your answer should be, let's make that a 0, 1,170. Okay. Now, if you did 26 times 45, you might have still got the same answer, but your numbers here would be different because you're multiplying by different numbers. So, let's just go ahead and do that one. 6 times 5 is going to be 30. Carry my 3 and circle it. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So, my first number now is 130. Now, I cross out, add my 0, and erase. And now I'm going to do 4 times 6, which is 24. I carry my 2 and circle it. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And if you look right here, I have 1,170, except my two products were different right here, which is okay because commutative property tells us it doesn't matter which way you multiply the factors as long as you multiply them. So either one of those would work. Hopefully that helps you kind of understand the standard algorithm a little bit better. As always, if you don't get it, it's just about practice. You just need to practice. So have some friends or parents or grandparents or aunts or uncles or teachers write down some problems and just go ahead and practice it. Remember in the three important steps, cross out, add your zero, and erase. As always, please check us out on YouTube at Channel Instruct the Beats. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instruct the Beats or you can always email us at instructabeats at gmail.com. We love having you watch our videos. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Instructabeats out.